guys. Okay, so voiceover favor here, <laughs> like Jay always says. So I'm making some pico de gallo here. Uh, I'm about to make a taco dish, but I wanted to show you how I make my pico. Uh, I start by dicing up, I don't know, a handful of Roma tomatoes. Um, I cut off the insides, dice up the outside. There you go. You want to remove all the stem, excuse me, all the seeds and things like that. And then just dice them all up. Whatever size you like. Joe peeking over there. Now I use a red onion, use whatever color you would prefer. And I just dice up about a half of medium sized onion and put that in there. Next is the jalapeno, don't touch your face. Make sure you thoroughly wash your hands with an oil cleansing soap, Dawn is what I use. And there we go, dice it all up. And that's it. Then you're gonna mix it up with a spoon and we'll move on to dinner. There we go, it's so tasty. All right, here we go. So this is about, I don't know, almost a pound, not quite a pound, it's under a pound. Three quarters of a pound of hamburger beef. Fry, uh, frying it up in the pan. And uh, we're gonna make some Mexican rice with beef in it. It was really, really good, just so you know. And um, I took my direction from a recipe in a cookbook and then sort of just did my own based on what I had on hand. So we're frying up this meat, getting it nice and cooked. Um, I like to take it beyond cooked. Most of the time I did not tonight. So there we go. Now we're all cooked through. Now we're going to add a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. If you don't have tomato paste, you can use tomato sauce. Um, Use whatever you have on hand. Whiz up some whole tomatoes or diced tomatoes, whatever you have. Put it in there and then uh, cook it a little bit just to get the flavors. Now, to come out of the tomato paste, take the rawness out of it. A couple tablespoons of taco seasoning and now we're adding some chicken stock. A cup or so. I'll add a little bit more if I think I need it, which I will later on. And uh, stir it up, mix all those flavors together, get everything combined. Oh, that right there is delicious. And next we're going to add, once we get it all mixed in, Jojo, once again. Mommy, can I have some? Alrighty, now we're gonna add the cauliflower rice. This is frozen, I didn't use the full bag. I used about, I'd say half the bag. Added a little more chicken stock there as you can see. Now we're just gonna mix it all together and uh, let it simmer, let that cauliflower rice cook. And uh, that was probably about 10, 15 minutes. Reduce the liquids. Um, you want it a little thicker than that. And uh, till they're pretty much gone. So beyond this point, you need another 10 minutes or so to really reduce those liquids under high heat. I just let it sit there and simmer. And then, there we go. There it is in a bowl. Now you can see my most favorite taco sauce from Jack in the Box. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit, put a few squirts on top of that. It is so delicious, the meal and the taco sauce. Then I'm going to add a little bit of lettuce to my bowl here, just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. I'm very particular about the size of my lettuce. Next, we're gonna add some pico de gallo. Mix it up again. I could literally eat this with a spoon. Just, to, you know, a couple tablespoons of it. Not too much. There, there can be quite a few carbs in pico de gallo, so you have to use it in moderation. Then some diced avocado. It's a half an avocado. Going in. Yummy. And then what am I going to do next? Oh, found another avocado. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Cheese! Yep, put a little cheese on top. That's just some cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar. Now I'm going to mix it up in just a second. Yummy, it is so delicious. Mix it up and take a bite! It 
is Wednesday, the 15th of April, tax day. Well, I guess not this year. Uh, 9.05 a.m., 51 degrees outside. How are you today? Um, this is my thread tank. This is the sweatshirt they sent me. I don't know. I did a video with them last year, maybe the year before. I don't know. And um, I never wear it because, honestly, it's off the shoulder, and I'm not a fan of that. So I'm kind of playing around with it today, seeing if I can stand it. Um, this is my... It's a sports bra from uh, L, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Been wearing a lot of that lately. Here, I'll stand up so you can see the whole outfit. Can you see back there? Um, these are the leggings that came. They're camo leggings. And then the bra. And then I just put this little top of it. It came with a green tank. Um, you know, but it's chilly outside. And I am about to go work outside. So I didn't want to wear the tank because I would be cold. Yes, I have sent back my FabFitFun style box. I have, but those are the boxes from FabFitFun style. So I did something a little different with my makeup today. You can probably tell my eyes are a bit red and irritated. My skin is a bit dry and irritated. Um, just the nature of me. This little sample is CICA. P-A-I-R, that's my husband. Uh-oh, it's in my pocket. Uh, hold on, let me see what he says. He's using talk to text. And then my oldest son went to the grocery store this morning, so he was sending me pictures of himself all decked out in his mask and everything. They uh, sewed their own. Devin sewed masks for Rob and for me, um, should we need to go into work or something like that. So, um, okay, let's get back to this. I did want to show you this came in. I told you guys I ordered a backup of this, um, because it was half off from Ulta. I'm so sorry. My face is like my eyes, everything is itchy. That's one of the reasons I'm going to be working outside today. I love this stuff. I will always buy a backup. I should have purchased two. But so hopefully, you know, by the time I need another jar of this, I'll have a 20% off coupon or something. Okay, anyway, back to this. This is what I put on today. This is the Sika Pear, Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, Dr. Jart SPF 30 Sunscreen. Uh, neutralizes redness and pr pr protects skin. Improves skin's appearance to be vibrant. Broad Spectrum SPF 30, I think it is, and it's Dr. Jart. Um, it, it's a sample, and I thought, you know, let me let me try this. I tried a little bit on my hand yesterday uh, underneath this sample, and I was like, oh, I really like that. So I put it on today. It's not a foundation, but I used it with, um, I put on some water cream I had, sample of water cream, and then I put this on, and then I just sort of, set it or matted it down a little bit with a setting powder and then went on with my regular makeup a little bit lighter on the eyes today because I'm just going to be working outside and I just wanted to try it out so that's what I'm doing we're going to see how it does outside look I am looking for I don't know an alternative to really having to wear makeup on my face I'm kind of getting to the point where I don't even want to fool with it anymore. I just, you know, this kind of thing to kind of protect my skin, the Murad sunscreen mattifier to protect my skin, maybe a little bit of powder just to kind of even things out and then go from there and then keep like four or five palettes. I know I just got in the Ipsy. You guys, I actually put my Ipsy on hold. I was a big girl and put it on hold because when I was putting that stuff away, I was sitting there thinking to myself, the, what you're going to use in this is the skincare. The makeup, you'll use bits and pieces of it, maybe. Over time, it'll go bad before I could possibly use it all. And I have those colors in another palette. So I just, I said to myself, you have to put this on hold. It's just a waste of money. And as fun as it is, and as much as I like getting it, I'm just going to have to get it watch vicariously through others watch you know other people unbox it and that kind of thing so yeah that's my pile of returns that you see right there um we are not returning in store right now so i don't know what to do with that stuff 
I may actually just donate it. It's not, it, it's not expensive. It's a pair of flip flops that were too big and um, a setting powder, powder that was too light for me. I may just donate them. I mean, because by the time this is all over with, are they even gonna take it back? I mean, that could be three months. I don't know. Who knows how long it's gonna last. Anyway, I digress. So I tried this today, and actually, I kinda, I really like it. The problem is, this stuff's expensive. You know, the full size of this, I think she said was 50, to, I heard somebody else talking about it, it was like $50. No, that's why I buy this half off. <laughs> so, and this is just L-U-E by Jean Seo, Balancing, Hydrating, and Constant uh, Calming Serum. Just wanted to try that on my hands last night. Uh, aqua Sodium Hyaluronate, uh, Potassium Sulrate, and Sodium Benzenate. So I need to do some research on some of those ingredients just to see. Um, it made my hand really, really soft, but if it just sits on top of your skin, it's not gonna do anything. And I have some more samples sitting here I need to put up because I do like the NARS mascara. I really like it. It's really expensive and I'm not gonna spend that money on it. This, the Bobbi Brown um, Vitamin Rich Face Base, I have a little sample of it that I've been using under my eyes. Oh my goodness. I love this. So it is in my cart at Sephora waiting for a 20% off coupon or at, um, what is the name of that store? Nordstrom, if it goes on sale. So my husband says to check this. One second, one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had to handle work for a little bit. Um, anyway, I was saying I tried this and we're gonna see. It's really expensive, but um, I'm at this point, you know, I like it. It's not, there's no greasiness. And usually by now, I mean, I've had my makeup on an hour, maybe 45 minutes, I'd feel a little bit of greasiness. Anyway, I did hop on the treadmill this morning. I'm waiting for it to warm up. The sun has come out, but I'm gonna take the pressure washer around back and um, clean up the back patio, clean that off today. And, uh, you know, it really, I'm, I'm ready to enjoy the backyard. So um, the yard guys came yesterday and, oh yes, it is Wednesday. I can't go to the office. Finn is not running still. Um, we have an appointment. We had to make an appointment and we had to kind of wait. So we have an appointment tomorrow to take him in. And um, so we'll see what happens there. And let's see what else is there. The trailer is repaired. I don't think I ever said anything about that. It had a bent axle. That's what they said was wrong with it, but it ended up not being a bent axle. It was something else was, t anyway. We had to replace the tires, which we just did, like two or three months ago. So we had to replace the tires and then um, repair the, it, something was wrong with the axle. We had to repair that. And um, so there you go. And soon, if all of this hadn't happened, Taylor was going to fix the air conditioning in Frank, but we can't be with him. So there's no way to fix the air conditioning in the van right now. And it's, start, it's cool today. Thankfully it's spring, but once it gets hot, like if we can't really be around our family until July, it's going to be so hot. It's too hot. So I don't know what we're going to do there. We may have to work something out. It's too hot for Rob to drive that van. And the driver's side window doesn't go down on Frank. <laughs> yeah, we got to replace that motor too. Anyway, um, so there's that. And so we'll see what's wrong with Finn. I don't know. So I'm going to sit here at my desk and do a little bit of work um, for work and for YouTube and answer some comments. And then we are going to um, go outside and clean the patio. What is for dinner tonight? So I just showed you what I cooked for dinner last night. I didn't really talk. I didn't, I was just showing you, we were having family time. Um, me, Rob and Chandler was in there and we were cutting up and laughing and having a good time. And I don't ever interrupt those times. Um, so, uh, it was really good what I had for dinner last night. It was really, really good. 
and um, it's a modified recipe out of that cookbook that I showed you. Uh, but I wanted more to it, so I added more to it, and I'm really glad that I did. It was really, really good. So that's what's for dinner tonight, leftover tacos, and that for me. And um, I'm sure there'll still be plenty of it for lunch tomorrow. Now, um, <laughs> um, it didn't do great with a run, but for everyday use, just to wear when I'm not working out, I think it's fine. I think it'll be fine. Um, wearing it into port on a hot, sweaty day, probably not. Probably not. So you see Grayson back there sleeping. Okay, that's enough chit chat. I'm going to make a fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> then I'm gonna do some work. And then once it almost knocked my coffee over onto my iPad, once it warms up um, a little bit, it's only a high of 68 today, but once it warms up a little bit, I'm gonna go out there and clean the patio. And I'll take you with me, of course. Why not? That's done. I won't show you my hands. Uh, I cut my hand twice on that machine. And um, some of you are not fond of the sight of blood. So you should know it is bleeding quite profusely. So not really. So I'm gonna go clean that up and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, well, that's done out there. My nose is running like crazy from being out in the uh, pollen and spraying it everywhere, including in my face. Um, so I wiped everything down and I'll have to do that again probably in a week. Hi, Missy. So I got a new thing. Where'd it go? Where'd it Beetle. A little bit. So in uh, Chandler's bathroom, Rob's been taking a shower in there lately because um, it's closer to the garage. So, um, uh oh, here we go. Come on now. Um, the shampoos and things that are in that bathroom, currently they sit on the side of the tub and I don't like that. It looks messy, I'm constantly having to clean. I probably should have made sure this worked before I took that off. Yeah, there you go. What's done is done, right? Um, I'm tired of having to scrub and clean up the spots where the shampoo sits. I've tried several other things attaching to the wall. Our tile in there is textured. Nothing will stay stuck to the wall. I've tried so many different options. The corner piece, you know, um, I have one in my master bath. It's a tension rod and it goes in the corner. It slips because of the type of tub we have. We have a, a ceramic tub. Anyway, yeah, um, it slides. I've tried the compression kind. I've, I've had one professionally installed and it wouldn't stay. So, <laughs> I'm tired of it. So I bought this. It's a shower caddy, I will link it for you. I'm not sure these little adhesive or suction cups are gonna do any good, but we're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom and then scrub the bathtub corners where the 
product is sitting and um, then I will I'll let you know in a few days how it's doing I I procrastinated on something like this because I don't like that it hangs off of the pipe I feel like that's pressure on the pipe I don't know it just really bothers me so what I may do is put this there and then I have these hooks that are supposed to stick to anything to kind of take some of the pressure off of it but have it on the pipe as a little extra security I don't know I who knows so I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom and I will let you know what I think of it in a few days Okay, I just wanted to pop in real quick because this makeup, I know, I it, I mean, under my eyes, I'm a little dark and it's not perfect, but um, I really am impressed with this. So it did really well today. I'm going to play around with some different, oh, it's not going to focus. Um, I really like it. Of course, there's a little redness. Come on, focus. There's a little redness. Um, it's a little worn around my mouth. I've had dinner. Mm-hmm. But you know, um, especially if my skin weren't like so reactive right now because it's, you know, but I didn't get super greasy today. <laughs> That's a big deal for me. That is a big deal. So I'm going to keep trying this. And I mean, I worked outside today, so I'm gonna keep trying this and we will see. But I just wanted to let you know that so far, one day in, I'll really like it. Could that change three days in? Sure could. Okay, that's enough for today. And that's probably the end of the vlog. Um, we, I just had leftovers for dinner um, from what I showed you already in the vlog and they were delicious. They were delicious and I have enough for lunch tomorrow and I'm real excited about that. So, and then I need to think of what to fix for dinner tomorrow. Um, probably make the guys maybe frozen pizza or something. I'm not real sure. And then the next day, I think I'm going to play with either a calzone or deep dish pizza or something like that from nomnom.com. So, and I need to make tortillas. All this is coming up. I need to make a massive batch of tortillas and some more baking. I think I need some cinnamon muffins. I don't know, Southern keto or one of those gather keto gatherings I don't know which cookbook it's in I'll find it we'll make it and I'll put it on the vlog all right you guys thank you so much for watching I hope you're doing well we're gonna get through this I hope these vlogs are <laughs> the last couple of vlogs have probably been a little <laughs> but it is what it is I'm doing the best I can staying at home <laughs> doing the same thing so anyway oh but my carpet cleaner came so um, I'll show you that tomorrow and we're going to now that it's here I can take the time it may take me the course of two or three days to really get Joe's coat shaved we'll have to see we we'll have to do it in small batches for him and um, they get the dogs washed get the floors and everything steam cleaned and cleaned in this house and uh, we'll see not steam clean the floors but steam clean the rugs so there we go all right you guys I'll talk to you soon thank you so much be well Sending you great big, as our friend says, socially distanced hugs. I love it when she says that. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.